Hey everybody, thanks for tuning in. It's Frags O'Neal, and today we're playing Ocarina of Time again. So uh, let's talk to this guard and see why there's a gate right here. The road is closed beyond this point. Can't you read the sign over there? Huh? Oh, I see. You're just a kid, and you can't read yet. <laughs> what an asshole. How about this, you son of a bitch? Oh, this is... Hey, this, this is surely Princess Zelda's handwriting. Let's see. Hmm. Okay. This is Link. He is under my orders to save Hyrule. <laughs> what kind of funny game has our princess come up with now? Alright. Okay. Okay. You can go up. Just be careful, Mr. Hero. <laughs> what a fucking dick. What an asshole, dude. Hey, uh, by the way, Mr. Hero, if you're gonna climb Death Mountain, you should probably equip a proper shield. It is an active volcano, after all. If you go back to Hyrule Castle Town Market, you should check out the bazaar. They sell the shield you need there. Tell them I sent you, and they should give you a discount. If you think you're good to go already, don't worry about it. Now, I'd like to ask a favor of you. No, I don't expect you to do it just because of the great tip I just gave you. I'm just asking. Have you been to the happy mask shop that just opened in the Hyrule Castle Town market? Everyone is talking about it. My little boy pesters me for a popular mask, but I don't have time to go there. So, uh, could you get the mask for me next time you're in market? If you don't feel like it, that's okay, but... Well, I got no choice. This is my job. <sighs> well, maybe he's an asshole because he can't see his family. I got a soft spot for him. But regardless, um, we have unfinished business in the forest. So we got to head on back to uh, Kokiri Forest. I'm such a fool. Such a fool, guys. So sorry. But hey, it's all right. We can explore this vast field. Our imagination... Great commentary. A handsome host. Plenty. And plenty of high quality gameplay. Thanks for tuning in. See you in the next episode. Just kidding. So we'll head on back. Normally what I do when I'm done with uh, sneaking around the castle and I get Zelda's autograph, I usually turn the system off after I save and then I like just... Okay, so when you're a kid, if you turn the game on, like you're playing your regular N64 or your virtual console or whatever, you uh, start in Link's house when you're a kid. And when you're an adult, you start in the Temple of Time. So, you know, you can kind of use that to manipulate how quick you can get certain places. And uh, I remember when I was a kid, man, I was like, man, I have to run all the way back there. It just felt like eternity. And then you probably, I don't know, you probably run the distance of Hyrule Field and Ocarina of Time. So we're talking about Breath of the Wild here. So in Breath of the Wild, when you spawn, you probably run the distance of that iteration of Hyrule Field to the Temple of Time on the Great Plateau. No, that's that's a little gratuitous. But I mean, it, it probably only covers like a fraction of the Great Plateau alone. And I, I never once in uh, Breath of the Wild was like, man, I am so bored running across this, like, terrain. Everything was always just phenomenal and so fun. I can't wait to play that on this channel, but I am going to need that capture card and a little bit more experience first. So, hey, whatever. What are you going to do? All right, so we are going into one of my personal favorite sections in the game, and that's the Lost Woods. I'm gonna enter in here, and then um, I have it memorized. But it, all right, so let's say you're playing this game on your own. See if I go up here. You know how you just hear the drum beat, but when I come here, it gets louder. That is because that's the right way to go, and we've got a little mini game here too. What you gonna do for me, brother? See, uh, Deku Scrub. And they're a lot more prominent in Majora's Mask, and I love it. Because they're, ah, oh, I just love it. 
Cool, you're great. You scored three perfect bullseyes. I have to give you a neat present. Oh, sorry. I have to give a neat present to such a wonderful person. Please, take it. Hey, we got the final upgrade for the slingshot already. Deku Seed's bullet bag has become bigger. 50 bullets. How about that? All right, so let's keep going. Oh, I forgot. Wow, he actually caught me by surprise, you son of a bitch. I'll never read your text. Ever since I was a kid, I've had a grudge. You want to hear what I said again? Hell no. I almost just read his text, but I'm not going to do it. In protest. And I want you all to join me. Every time you get to Kepora Gebora, close your eyes until you hear the text end sound. And then only read what he asks you and hit the appropriate option to ignore him forever. Alright, so if we go in that way, that's a little secret shortcut to Zora's River. But we're not quite there yet. We're just going to keep on going this way. Nope. Yep. Yeah, you really got to keep your ears out for that music. And uh, when you're an adult, it ain't there. You just have to have it memorized. So there will be a little bit of trial and error right there. But I have it down for the most part. And if you do it right, you end up in the sacred forest meadow. But if you take one of the wrong paths, you end up back in the forest. The Kokiri forest. Oh, no. It's Ego Raptor's least fucking favorite... An enemy where you have to hold up your shield. Fuck, we're screwed. Nah. Wolfos are very easy. Just be patient. Hold your shield up. Boom. And anytime somebody hits you, they're exposed right after, dude. Like, watch. We can even get fancy with it. I'm going to do a, uh, a lunge attack. Come on. Come on, boy. Boom. They do take a lot of hits because your Kokori sword isn't very strong. That's okay. I mean... When I first came to that Wolfos, that was pretty much a boss fight to me when I was a kid. I had a lot to learn. But yeah, we're going to have a bunch of uh, scrubs just sitting here trying to get us. And now the red ones will run away from you and you have to kill them with your sword. So they, they take a little bit more work to kill than just the ones that get hit and die. But not too much. It's very easy. Like I said, keep that Z targeting handy and you're going to be just fine. A little shortcut here was that a shortcut i don't know i don't know what i'm doing but yeah the lost woods theme what a what a good song i love this entire environment the whole forest theming um those were always my favorites the forest temple the great deku tree the lost woods uh kokiri forest that was always my favorite area of the game it like even when i was a kid it made me nostalgic all right come on you little bastard Get up. Take that. Rewind it back. I'm going to kill your ass and you fill my back. Sorry. I am I legitimately am sorry. God. It's hard to talk through a very long series. We're only in like, what, episode four or five now? Oh, jeez. But more, more story is going to happen. and it, It's going to get a lot easier. So. I'm still having fun. I really hope people like watching this. Look at that little girl. Very familiar. One of our best friends. And we can assume she's playing this song right now. I've been waiting for you, Link. This is the Sacred Forest Meadow. It's my secret place. I feel... This place will be very important for both of us. That's what I feel. If you play the ocarina here, you can talk with the spirits in the forest. Would you like to play the ocarina with me? I'm going to go with don't do it. Okay. Follow along to the melody that I play. Are you ready? It's a Rhea song. We're learning song number two right here. And I briefly touched on this point. But, man, I wish that they would bring songs back to Zelda. Because, I don't know, I just really enjoyed playing the ocarina, having these songs that have different powers and stuff. I thought that was really good. Great, great. Please, don't forget this song, you promise? When you want to hear my voice, play Saria's song. You can talk with me anytime. Here we go. So yeah, uh, Saria's song is going to be used to unlock a couple puzzles in the game. But you can also play it when you're not near one of those puzzles, like literally any other time. 
and uh, you can ask her for advice. And when you don't hear anything from her anymore, for whatever reason, um, Navi will be like, hey, you want to talk to me? <laughs> You're like, no. But okay, we can go ahead and head on back to Kakariko now. And, um, yeah. What a good level. There's a fairy fountain down there. Well, we got that bottle now, right? I got that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'll show you a fairy fountain. Save. That's just habit. Go down here. With that beautiful file select screen. And we got a bunch of pink looking navvies. And you can go and you can use your bottle. And you swipe it. Boom. Bottled up a fairy. Now what this does, it's very useful. I try to have one on me at all times. If you use it, it fully restores your hearts. If you die and you have one in your inventory, it'll automatically bring you back to life. You don't even ha need to have it equipped to see. It'll just bring you back. It's awesome. Very, very useful. So yeah, we're coming up on a decent episode length, but I'm going to power through it. Um, we can go ahead and get back. So all this like traveling that we have to do, it gets mitigated later on. You learn songs that warp you to specific points in the game. Oh shit, backwards. Well, hey, you know what? This is a perfect time. Uh, we it, It's a long week. We've got plenty of time for more episodes. Let's just call it here, and uh, we can trek on back to Kakariko off screen. So thank you so much, as always, for watching. Drop a comment. Let me know what you think. Uh, let me know about the commentary. It's getting a little loose. Um, but if you're having a good time, I want to know. And if you're not having a good time, and you feel like actually giving me the time of day to tell me why, let me know. I, and I'll really appreciate it. So thank you so much, and have a great rest of your day. If you enjoyed this episode, hit subscribe. I upload twice a day, got plenty of content for you. And if you like N64 games, check out my Star Fox videos linked above. Take care, y'all.